I quit. So give me my money, my salary. I'm supposed to get a dollar a day and I work for you for one year. That's $365. Not so fast. Now, how many hours did you work in a day? Eight hours a day. And how many hours are there in a day? Oh, don't you try to pull anything over me. There are 24 hours in a day. All but February, which has 28. Well, that's right. There are 24 hours in a day. And you only worked eight hours a day. Well, that's just a third of each day. So a third of 365 is approximately 121. So you actually only have $121 coming to you. $121? Yes. So give me my $121. Not so fast. No, you didn't work Sundays, did you? No. And there are 52 Sundays in a year, so we'll take 52 from 121, leaving $69 coming to you. Well, give me the $69. Yeah, but... Um, what, sweet the butt? Uh, just a minute. Now, you only worked half a day on Saturdays, am I right? Uh, here it comes. Wait a minute. Now, you only worked half a day on Saturdays. That's all, just half a day. Okay, now there are 52 Saturdays in a year, and half of 52 is 26. So we'll deduct 26 from 69, leaving $43 coming to you. You sure, then? I'm positive. I mean, I don't want you to cheat yourself. Oh, well, that is really nice of you to look after my interests. <clears throat> I might as well look out for yours. You already killed mine, so give me the $43. Uh, but just a minute now. You took a vacation, didn't you? Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks, that's 14 days. Now, a dollar a day, that's $14. So 14 from 50, 43, leaving the sum of $29 coming to you. The sum of? The sum of. If I get some of it, I'll be lucky. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, don't get excited. You took time out for lunch, didn't you? Oh, no, don't take that away from me. One little hour a day, that's all I took. An hour a day. You didn't need much. That's right, one hour a day, 365 days. That's 365 hours. That comes to about 15 days, I take it. You might as well take it. You're taking everything else. So 15 from 29, 29 is 14. 14. Oh, wait a minute. Now, I'm glad I thought about this. Did you know that there are 13 holidays in the year when you don't work? This is gonna cost plenty, too. You didn't work those 13 days. Oh. So, we'll deduct 13 from the 14, leaving the exact sum of $1 coming to you. How do you like that? I'm owed $365, and I wind up with a buck. So, give it to me. you go keeping my one little dollar away from me stealing my dollar what? the sort you're owed one dollar and here it is so how do you want me to get it well you can't get it over the computer i know that i can't just punch through the screen although i ought to give you no, all right now take it easy you're more likely to hurt your fist than my jaw all right i'm coming over there to get my dollar you're gonna come over here and get your dollar that's right, you got my dollar and I'm gonna get it. You know, there's a reason we're on these computers. There's a reason, there's a reason. I know there's a reason. And what is that reason? Because of the corona. Someone drank a beer and got so sick that the rest of us have to stay home. Well, kind of, it's because of a virus. Virus too? I got a virus once when I was drunk. <laughs> Almost got a baby from it too. No, 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 think about it. You want your dollar. Of course I want my dollar. Times well, is tough. Well, let's say you were to leave quarantine. Which you shouldn't do. Which you shouldn't do. But you're forcing me. To get your dollar. To get my dollar. Now the only reason you're leaving is to get your dollar. Of course you owe me a dollar. How long are your arms? What? You still is asking me how long my arms are. Have you heard of social distancing? Of course, I've been practicing social distancing for years. <laughs> for years? No, that started in March. No, ma'am. Young men been asking me to keep my distance for years now. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's say you get over here and let's say I have your dollar. You do have my dollar. All right, now with social distancing, you're supposed to stay six feet away from me. So, how long are your arms? What's it matter how long my arms are? I don't know. How tall are you? 
You want to know my birthday too? Come on, how tall are you? 5'10", minus three inches. Okay, so you're five feet, seven inches. Well, that's less than six, isn't it? And your arm is less than half. So we're pretty safe to say that if you reach out, you're only gonna be two and a half feet away from me. Fine, I'll be right over, two feet. Wait a minute, now you're forgetting that we have to be six feet apart to maintain social distance. But what, what? So I'm afraid for both of our sakes, I couldn't hand you this dollar. Can't hand me? Of course, started with 365 and can't even get my dollar. Oh, there it is. Our free Zoom session has reached its limit. Take care. Hey, Sarah, do you know any positive facts about the country of Switzerland? Well, the flag is a big plus. Gracie, what did you do today? Well, I went to the beauty shop and I met Clara Badgley and she was going to the doctor, so I went along with that. Well, that was very nice. And as soon as I got to the doctor's office, I knew he was no good. He was a, a bad doctor? Yeah, all of his patients were sick. You're very observant. He has a beautiful blonde nurse. And even she was sick. She was sick too? Yeah, she kept begging him to take out her appendix. The nurse wanted her appendix taken. Yeah, every time she went into his private office, I could hear her saying, no doctor, please cut it out. What was the matter with Clara that she had to see the doctor? Well, I think it was to have the dents taken out of her knees. She had dents in her knees? Yes, because every time I looked in the office, he was pounding them out with a little rubber hammer. <laughs> I'll explain that to you. So while she was in the doctor's office, I was in the waiting room and I cheered up all the patients. I knew that you would, yes. Oh, and wait until I tell you, there was a little boy. They have him in a room all by himself and he looked so sad. So I brought him around and made everyone shake hands with him. And that made him feel better? Yes, he almost forgot he had the tuberculosis. <laughs> Your friendliness was very contagious. Yes, I helped the nurse too. I answered the phone for her. I see. Someone called up and wanted to know if a man 85 years old could have chicken pox. What did you tell? Well, I thought it was a silly question, but I was professional and I said, let him have as much as he wants as long as he chews it well. Chicken pox. You were a real big help down there today. Yes. Oh, and there was a doctor in the next office whistling and oh. I... The, the doctor was whistling? Yeah, and the nurse. And he was Dr. Brown, the famous obstetrician. I see. She said she had 260 babies last year. So I said, I bet his wife isn't whistling. Thank you.
You'll never believe. I just got out of jail. What were you arrested for? Sleepwalking down Hollywood Boulevard. You can get arrested for sleepwalking? I sleep naked. Hi, Nick. Hey, Amber. Say, you've got a pretty nice job here. Job? Oh, well, I could have had two jobs. This one at $10 a week and another one at $40 a week. Then why'd you take this job? Because I figure if I lose a $10 job instead of a $40 job, I'll be saving $30. At $30 a week, at the end of the year, you'll have saved yourself $1,500. Sure, but if I'm out of work for 10 years, I'll have saved enough to retire. Do you mind if I change the subject? This is a free country. Say, that's a nice shirt you've got on. Oh, I'm glad you like it. It's my party shirt for Tuesday night. My sister Jean and Alice are going too. They're twins, you know. I didn't know you had twin sisters. Yeah, they really should be triplets, uh, because I think Alice is two-faced. Do they look exactly alike? Oh, yeah. Is it hard to tell them apart? Standing up or sitting down? What difference does it make? Well, we noticed when Alice sits down and Jean stands up... Yeah, 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 Jean seems taller. Yeah! Even though they look exactly alike, it's easy to tell them apart because Alice is married. Jean is single. No, Jean is married too. Well, how do you tell them apart? Jean is the one with the swimming pool. Jean is the one with the swimming pool. Yeah. We were there yesterday. Oh, we had such fun. We were diving and doing backflips. And we'll have even more fun tomorrow when they put the water in. Nick, let's talk about anything else except your family. Oh, then you don't want to talk about my brother. No. Sure? Yep. He's very tall, you know. Nick, I don't want to talk about your brother. Undercover agent. Not a recover agent. Is he in the Secret Service? No, he knows about it. Howdy, folks. The next segment melds classic bits of Sophie Tucker with the Marx Brothers entitled Vaudeville's Comics, or as I like to call it, I'm all tuckered out and grouchoed about it. What's better to talk about than life? It's sure better to go through than death. Although it is generally known, I think it's about time I announced that I was born at a very early age. Age is not a particularly interesting subject. Anyone can get old. All you have to do is live long enough. I've always maintained the secret of longevity is to keep breathing. A woman's only as old as she feels. Of course, a man is only as old as the woman he feels. Which reminds me of Ernie. Now there's a man with an open mind. and You can feel the breeze from here. Ernie says the first time he ever saw me, he fell head over heels in love. In fact, he tripped head over heels into a bush, and it wasn't mine. Eventually, Ernie asked me to marry him. It's not that I'm against relationships, it's just... Few people remember a wedding is the chief cause of divorce. So I looked at him and I said, Ernie, marriage is a wonderful institution, but who wants to live in an institution? He professed his love. I said, don't look now, but there's one too many in this room, and I think it's you. He kept after me until he had grown whiskers and I had grown weary. Eventually I relented and demanded a simple ceremony. So I was married by a judge. I should have asked for a jury. Ernie and I never saw eye to eye. He said to have a happy marriage we couldn't shut down and had to keep our hearts open. I said the secret to a happy marriage is a husband who learns to keep his mouth shut and his checkbook open. We were having so many problems, we finally decided to go to a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist said, I think you're crazy. I told him, I want a second opinion. He said, okay, you're ugly too. But Ernie came to my rescue. He told the man, really, our problems lie in money, which isn't true. If we had enough money to lie in, we wouldn't have any problems. So Ernie turned to me and said, Soph, if you learn to cook, we could fire the chef. And I said, Ernie, if you learn to f we could fire the chauffeur. <laughs> Here's to him. Thinking of that psychiatrist reminds me of the time I came home from a doctor's appointment. I said, Ernie, guess what? 
The doctor said, I have the constitution of a 20-year-old girl. He said, I have the lungs and the heart and the liver of a 20-year-old. And Ernie looked me up and down and he said, did he happen to mention by any chance your 80-year-old ass? And I said, no, we weren't talking about you. Ah, poor Ern. The years have not been kind. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana, but it has its appeal. Oh, come on, they can't all be good. I'll tell you, though, what I've learned from after all these years is from birth to age 18, a girl needs good parents. From 18 to 35, a girl needs good looks. From 35 to 55, she needs a good personality. And from 55 on, she needs good cash. I've been rich and I've been poor, and rich is better. Well, folks, I've had a perfectly wonderful evening, uh, but this isn't it. Wash your hands, launder your money, and think of social distancing like you're finally the girl getting away from the unwanted attention. <laughs> I'll tell you, Ernie said hello. Some of these days, you're gonna miss me, honey. My sister had a baby. Boy well, or girl? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out if I'm an uncle or not. Gracie, let me ask you something. Did the nurse ever happen to drop you on your head when you were a baby? Oh no, we couldn't afford a nurse. My mother had to do it. You were a smart mother. Smartness runs in my family. When I went to school, I was so smart, my teacher was in my class for five years. Is there anybody in the family as smart as you? My sister Hazel is even smarter. If it wasn't for her, our canary never would have hatched that ostrich egg. A canary hatched an ostrich egg? Yeah, but the canary was too small to cover that big egg. So... So the Hazel sat on the egg and held the canary in her lap. Hazel must be the smartest in your family. Oh no, my nephew Willie is no dummy either. Willie? Yeah, the one who slept on the floor. Why would he sleep on the floor? He had high blood pressure. And he was trying to keep it down. Yeah, he was a window washer. What? was he was outside on a 20th story washing a window and when he got through he stepped back to admire his work and and he lost his job even worse he lost his footing gracie this family of yours when my brother was a little baby my father took him riding in his carriage and two hours later his father came back with a different baby and a different carriage. Well, what did your mother say? Oh, my mother didn't say anything because it was a better carriage. A better carriage? Yeah. And the little baby my father brought home was a little French baby. So my mother took a French. Why? So she could understand the baby. When the baby started to talk. Yeah. Gracie, this family of yours, do you all live together? Oh, sure. My father, my brother, my uncle, my cousin, and... Oh, my nephew. All sleep in one bed. And... In one bed? I'm surprised your grandfather doesn't sleep with him. Oh, he did, but he died. So they made him get up. What do you call a short psychic evading the police? I don't know. What do you call a short psychic evading the police? A small medium at large.
Hills, Cowtips, and Scale Hills, and all sorts of food they sing. They got the Long Island potatoes, they got the old fashioned tomatoes. But yes, we have no bananas. We have no bananas today. Well, Nick, any news from home? Yeah, I got a letter from my little niece, Jean. Oh, what'd she say? She didn't say anything. She didn't phone. It was a letter, and she wrote it. I mean, what did she write? It's spring again, and my family is putting on a backyard circus, just like they did when I was a kid. Every spring, you kids used to put on your own circus? Yes! Of course, admission was free, but that was only for the people who could afford it. What if they could afford a ticket? Then we wouldn't let them in. I should have guessed. Anyway, my cousin Barney was a sword swallower. Oh, and what a performance he put on. The kids would cheer when he put a sword four feet long down his throat. Could Barney really swallow a sword? Oh, Amber, don't be silly. It was a trick. You know the scabbard that the sword fits into? Yeah. Well, before the show, he would stick that down his throat. I see. And then you just slip the sword into it. And everyone yeah, thought, he was everybody thought he was swallowing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shame to fool the public like that. But admission was free. Oh, I forgot. And Uncle Otis was the strong man. He'd come out in a leopard skin and put big nails into his mouth and twist them between his teeth until they bend. Oh, that's quite the trick. Yes, but he looked pretty ridiculous walking around with all those crooked teeth. Now ah, you live and you learn. Uh, who else was in the sideshow? One of the big hits was Uncle Harvey and Aunt Clara. What was their act? Half man, half woman. But didn't you have two halves left over? Oh, no. They both got into one costume. Oh, now I get the picture. Amber, it, it wasn't a picture. They did it in person. What was your part in the circus? I was the lion tamer. You were the lion tamer? Of course, I just used our house cat for two weeks before the circus. I taught her all kinds of tricks. To sit on a pedestal, to roll over, to play dead. Ooh, sounds like a pretty smart cat. Yeah, but when she got in front of the audience, she forgot all her tricks and just had kittens. Ugh, that must have caused a sensation. It was. But what good was it for? The silly cat wouldn't do it again for the second performance. Oh, no, wait, 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 before you go. I learned a magic trick before the whole thing. Do you want to see it? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! This is supposed to be a Zoom meeting. Get back upstairs. That was great. Now say good night, Nick. Good night, Nick. It really hurts when I go like this. So don't go like that. <laughs>